Looks like Salt Lake City's agreement with Smith Entertainment Group over a revitalization district comes with some perks. Mm -hmm. And today the city unveiled some of those perks, which would go toward addressing issues like affordable housing. New specialist Andrew Adams is live downtown with the update. Andrew? Well, Lady, the most notable is a ticket fee that Smith Entertainment Group has agreed to collect here at the Delta Center starting next year. Those funds, like you said, will be directed to things to, like affordable housing. City leaders tonight glowed when they were asked about uh, what they were getting out of this deal. This is a culmination of a lot of work for us. In a meeting with the city council. I'm eager to allow the public to finally put their eyes on something and for us to discuss things. Delta the mayor Center beamed a during a presentation about what Salt Lake facility. is getting out of an agreement with Smith Entertainment Group. You know that we set out with a flagship goal of securing not only the Utah Jazz, but a new NHL team in our downtown core. And with this partnership agreement, we accomplished that goal and so much more. Aaron Mendenhall and her staff said the updated agreement includes a 0.5% sales tax increase and fees the Smith Entertainment Group agreed to impose at Delta Center events starting July 1st next year. The latter, ranging from $1 to $3, depending on the price of the ticket, will produce funds that will be directed toward the revitalization district on family size and affordable housing. I feel great about the public benefits, about the security of the teams, about the revitalization of so much more than just the Delta Center. Other perks for the city include internships and apprenticeship programs for students and subsidized tickets for community groups. The whole goal is that we're doing this out of a mission-driven desire to lift downtown. The mayor says the ticket fees alone will mean $100 million over 30 years for public benefit initiatives. And that should give our residents assurance that they are going to have a seat at the table every single time any of those dollars are spent. So what does Smith Entertainment Group get? Up to $900 million from a 0.5% sales tax increase that's also part of the deal. And where this goes from here, uh, City Council is expected to vote on this participation agreement on July 9th. From there, the state also has to approve the agreement, and then the council would then have to approve the tax increase. Now back to you. Yeah, the timelines are coming really quickly on this, Andrew. Thank you.